Yo, what is up, Croxton clan members and others who have upon this video? I'm Sorenson Croxton, and yes, I am sunburned. Uh, but that's besides the point. Today, I'm going to be doing a not-so-normal video for me. Um, basically, this is going to be a sort of response uh, video to the this YouTuber called The Insane Game Freak. I'll post his channel in the description below, so you guys can go check him out. He's a really awesome guy. Uh, so what he's basically doing is that he's making a comparison video for Ash's best female companions. Starting off with Misty and Iris, and then later on he'll do one between Dawn and May, and then whoever wins out of both of those tiers will go to the finals, and then he'll do a video of that. So, basically, uh, he just wants us to decide which one we prefer out of the, these two, and then later on about the other two. So, let's get into it. Okay, so basically what he is doing is comparing Misty with Iris and Dawn with May because they have similarities between each other. Um, with uh, the way I see it, Misty and Iris both want to be a Pokemon master of a specific type where Dawn and May want to be top coordinators. And that's how I see the, the split between uh, these four characters. So, my favorite out of Misty and Iris, I'll show up on the screen right now, um... So, my favorite is Misty. Now, there is reasons for this. One of them, I have to say, doesn't really count as a reason, which is basically nostalgic purposes, and that's because Misty was the first one. But, Misty's not my favorite out of the four, so that's not like the main reason. Um, so, the way I see it is that both Misty and Iris want to be mas you know, Pokemon Masters of their specific type. Misty wants to be a water Pokemon Master, but Iris wants to be a dragon Pokemon master. Now here's how I see it. Now I would I don't mind Iris. Don't get me wrong. She's cool and all, but for her in the Pokemon or a uh, dragon Pokemon master setting, I feel like she didn't really come close to her goal. I mean, she has what two dragon types. One of them's a baby, and then the other one. Uh, you know, Dragonite, you know, yeah, so, and then, like, she has two Pokemon which have nothing to do with the Dragon types, which are actually nerfed, they're, like, completely forgotten about after, like, a specific set of episodes, because, well, she caught a Dragonite, and I actually was her main Pokemon, so, basically, Emolga and Exodrill are just there, you know, uh, and they're not Dragon types, so, that's another thing, um, Whereas Misty, most of her Pokemon are water types. The only exception was Togepi and then Azura when she hatched it, you know, so which are normal types. But Azura evolves into a water type, so that's still going in that same direction. Plus, she's got a freaking Gyarados. You cannot tell me that that is not cool. Because it is. it is Freaking Gyarados, man. Now, I'll give Iris. Dragonite is awesome, but the fact that it's the only... What or the only dragon type worth being called a dragon type in her team because Axew's a baby. He's I have to say the fact that they made Axew totally OP made no freaking sense. The fact that he learns Outrage out of the blue and then Giga Impact, which he never uses again, by the way. At least I haven't seen him use it again. I don't recall him using it since that time. Or Outrage for that matter, because all she uses is freaking Dragon Rage, which is a stupid Dragon type move after a certain point in the game. It's pretty much useless. Um, so Dragonite is the only competitive Dragon Pokemon she has. Misty has her freaking Gyarados. She has a Starmie, which is actually pretty decent. I wish that she had evolved her Horsey, because a Kingdra in Misty's teams would have been totally OP. Um... And her Psyduck, come on, you cannot tell me her Psyduck is not cool, even though it's a freaking idiot, it does its job, like, it does its job, it, that confusion, man, that disable in the old school was just freaking wrecking everything, um, so, you know, and there's, there's things that I see that are different, but, and Misty at least stuck to her goal of wanting to be a Pokemon, a water Pokemon master, because that's mainly what she caught. In fact, when they went after Totodile, Misty wanted it. And guess what? Totodile is a water-type Pokemon. You did not really see her go after any other Pokemon except for that Oddish at one time. And it was a weird reason. 
mind you, because she said, oh, well, it's near water, so it likes water, so I'm going to catch it, even though it's not a water type. But that's the only exception I'm going to give it. You know, Togepi, that was just the girl thing, and then Azura, she hatched it, so there was not really an, a lot of option there. But it, it still, Azura evolves into Meryl and then Azumaro, which are both water type Pokemon. To me, Misty went a lot better in her goal. Plus, that she has more freaking achievements than Iris. For one, she's actually won a couple competitions. She's actually beaten Ash more times than Iris. I mean, Iris had, what, the Battle Club uh, tournament. That's the only time Iris beat, you know, Ash. Misty won against Ash in that, uh, dang it, Water Cup tournament in Johto, if I remember correctly, that's that's what it was, um, and then she technically won the match for Togepi, you know, that was, you know, that was a match, they did battle for Togepi, uh, and she did win Togepi, so if you could, I mean, technically she didn't win fair, but, she still won, so... That's a that's a victory there, and you know she's it's Misty. Come on, you can't tell me you don't like Misty. It's just impossible. Plus, this is actually the only reason why I ever put Misty over like the actual person I like, and that's the, because Misty and Ash works perfectly. I'm just gonna state it out right now. Misty and Ash is like the perfect couple in this. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate out of all the other, you know, fanatics out there that like a specific, you know, person. But here's the way I put it. Misty actually already showed her feelings for Ash. And we do know, or at least we noticed, that Ash had some feelings for her. Whereas May has Drew, and I don't care what anybody says, that's going to be a couple right there. Dawn, I'm going to give her to Kenny because... That seemed like a childhood couple right there. And then Iris, I have no idea what her purpose is. I, I, I mean, I don't, I didn't see anything except for the Iris and Ash episode where they fought against each other and they argued and then they like broke up, separate, got separated, and then they came back. But that's still not enough because they just, he Ash has done that with all the other female companions, so it's not exclusive to Iris. So I gotta give that one to to Misty. On the other hand, Serena is gonna throw a freaking wrench into this whole dynamic because she knew Ash when he was a little kid. So we're gonna see where that goes. I am actually looking forward to that storyline. But that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. So, in my opinion, Misty all the way. I I'm Misty all the way. Gyarados. Uh, that's the way I want to put it. She's got a freaking Gyarados. Simple as that. You can't, you can't tell me that Gyarados is not awesome. Now, um, yeah, I guess that's the only thing left is just to say goodbye. Yeah. So thanks again for watching. Leave your comments down below about which one of these two lovely ladies you prefer, and post it down below in the comments. And I'll see you guys uh, later, but as a quick reminder, in case you haven't seen my previous videos, I'm going to be doing a live stream on Friday the 11th as a Pokemon X and Y Final Thoughts. You guys can check that out. I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys there. You guys can post your comments or the questions and everything, all that. It's going to be a fun time. So I'll see you guys then. Peace.